Hello. Here we have a next Hadoop interview question based on the partitioning in the Spark. And this is really important question uh, where you will be finding uh, many questions based on the Spark partitioning only. And the question will be what is the difference between repartitioning and collapse? So we have a two algorithm to reduce or increase the number of partitioning in the spark so as we know that whenever we are loading the data it will create the number of partition so that those partition will be used by the spark for the computation purpose and uh, we can do the parallel option parallel operation on those partitioning so because of that only partitioning is really important and in order to manage those partitioning we can use the coalesce and repartition these two algorithm so let us see and try to understand what is the difference between coalesce and repartitioning if we are in a situation where we need to increase or decrease the partitioning so in that case we can use the repartitioning so repartitioning is the algorithm which will increase and decrease the partitioning But what is happening in the case of uh, coalesce, it will only reduce the number of partitioning. So this is the main difference between the partitioning and coalesce, you will find it. I, I will try to repeat the concept one more time. When we are in a situation where we need to increase or decrease the number of partitioning, we can use with the repartitioning algorithm but when we need to reduce the number of partitioning we can go with the coalesce the second difference between the repartitioning and coalesce is in repartitioning full shuffling will be happening so let us say this is the original data and it has partition in four uh, partitioning so your first partitioning is consisting one to two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 9, 10. After doing the repartitioning, you will find the data, it is coming like this. So, if you check this data properly, you will find all those data are coming from each partition. So, 1 is coming from first partition, 3 is coming from second partitioning, again 5 is coming from second partitioning, then 6 and at last 8 and 10. So, all the data are coming from the different partitioning only so because of that only what is happening here a full shuffling and when the shuffling is happening you will find the more resources will be consumed so memory and data all goes uh, will be you know uh, it will be very expensive operation when we are talking about the repartitioning but when we are talking about the coalesce it will not be a costly operation as compared to the repartitioning so you will find the data is coming from second partitioning 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 is there 3 4 5 so data is coming from a and b so first partitioning is there itself and the data is only coming from b partitioning 6 7 is there sir and data is coming from d partitioning so like this it will be happening so uh, when we compare about the shuffling part you will find a lot of shuffling will be happening in repartitioning but in case of coalesce there will be a less shuffling as compared to the repartitioning so because of that only the resources will not be consumed more with respect to when we compare about the uh, the the more resources will be consumed in repartitioning okay so we will try to do this thing in a practical way uh, i have a cloudera machine and this is the spark shell i am using the 2.3.1 version so let us try to create one rdd and i'm using the four number of partitioning if i'm not mentioning it will take the number of uh, depend on number of cores we are having so it will create the rdd 
with four number of partitioning so we have created the rdd and the data is loaded over here okay if you want to check the data we can check it like this my rdd1 dot collect here you can see it has created the list from 1 to 10 okay and the number of partition we can check by using this command my rdd1 dot partitions dot lin here you can see the number of partition which has been created for the rdd is 4 now we are going to use our repartitioning concept and by using the repartitioning we will try to decrease the number of partitioning so we can do like this this is a new rdd and we are going to use the first rdd dot repartition and the number of partition is 2 okay so it has created the number of partition as 2 only let us try to cross check it here you can see the number of partition is like 2 and we will also try to get the data and we will see how the data has been stored in the partition Okay, so data has been collected like this 1468 and the number of partitions since we are using the two uh, Both the data will be stored in two files if you want to see uh, The number of files which has been saved we can save this file also like this. Let me try to save this file save as a text file is a method and we are going to save it on here itself dsc underscore repartition is the name okay now we will go to the cloudera machine and we will check how many files it has been created it should create the number of files as two only because the number of partition is two Here you can see two files have been created. The first file contain 146810 and second file contain 235789. So this is the first file and this is the second file. Okay. So what we what is happening here by using the repartitioning we can decrease the number of partitioning as well as we can increase the number of partitioning okay now let us try to increase the number of partitioning if you observe here i am using the dsc underscore repartitioning rdd only which was having the number of partition as two here itself okay and now i'm adding two more partition which is equals to four and we'll try to check the number of partition now here it has shown that the number of partition is equals to four we can save this data again by using the command rdd dot save as a text file okay so uh, at this point we are i'm not going to uh, save save it as a text file i'm going with the colas method so let us try to load and create a new rdd i will just give 
the another name okay so the rdd has been created now let us try to check the number of partitions the number of partition will be four only now i am trying to reduce the number of partition by two by using the coalesce method we have changed our rdd name so i will just uh, change it we will try to cross check if the number of partition has been reduced to two here you can see the number of partition has been two now because see first of all we have created the uh, we have we have created the rdd by using the parallel method which is containing the data from one to four and the number of partition is four only then we have used the coalesce method and we have tried to reduce the number of partition to two only then again we have cross check whether the partition has been reduced after doing the cross check we have found that we have reduced the partition by two only now we will try to increase the number of partition by using the coalesce method but as per the algorithm we cannot increase the number of partition by using the coalesce but just to understand the things we will try to increase it so we have the rdd which is having the number of partition as two only and we are going to use the existing rdd rdd dot coalesce and the number of partition as four okay and let us try to cross check if you observe here carefully you will find that the number of partitions still it is showing at integer equals to 2 only but we have increased the number of partition as 4 so from this uh, practical example you will understand that if you want to reduce or increase the number of partitioning we can go with the repartitioning but in case of colas only we can reduce the number of partitioning second thing is a full shuffling will be happening in repartitioning where uh, which is a very expensive operation but coalesce where it will use the same, uh, existing partitioning and next part like other partitioning will be taken out taken the data taken out the data to the existing partitioning so this is how we can see the difference in between the repartitioning and coalesce thank you